This video describes the steps that you will need to take to configure the Cloud Secure Web Gateway, or Cloud SWIG, transparent proxy feature in Force.1. Let's now review the high-level tasks you need to perform to configure a transparent proxy connection in Cloud SWIG. First, ensure that Cloud SWIG has been provisioned for your tenant. If necessary, contact your Forcepoint account representative. For the next step, you define traffic types and create a custom location for each subnet. You can access traffic types in the Forcepoint 1 SSE portal on the Protect, Objects, Traffic Types page. Traffic types are used to identify types of traffic for policies. You can access custom locations in the Forcepoint 1 SSE portal on the Protect, Objects, Custom Locations page. You will create a custom location for each internal subnet you want to identify and assign it to a traffic type. For example, if your corporate and guest network subnets are different, this is where you will define them. Then create and configure a site in the Forcepoint 1 SSE portal on the Protect, Objects, Sites page. Each customer location will have its own site with a primary and secondary cloud data center configured in the portal. You next need to define how devices with the Smart Edge agent installed will proxy web traffic when they visit the site. Selecting Do Not Override configures the Smart Edge agent proxy to filter traffic before traversing the tunnel. Do Not Set Pack means that Smart Edge agent will not enforce its own pack file, which enables you to configure and host an alternative. Next, configure the Cloud Swig settings in the Forcepoint 1 SSE portal. To access the Cloud Swig settings, navigate to Protect, Forward Proxy, Settings. The first settings option is the Cloud Swig Idle Session Timeout. If no traffic is received from a user for the duration defined in this setting, the user needs to re authenticate for policies that enforce authentication. By default, the Cloud Swig traffic is decrypted. Therefore, you need to either download the Forcepoint CA certificate or configure an external certificate authority for decryption. On this page, you can also create any bypasses to domains, host IPs, and subnets, which will apply to both Cloud Swig and agent traffic. Next, you need to deploy the root certificate to all devices. This prevents users from experiencing certificate errors in the web browser when they navigate to SSL sites. Ensure that, when the certificate is imported, you apply the SSL certificate to identify websites only. Then create and configure Cloud Swig policies based on your company's security requirements on the Protect Policies page. Cloud Swig authentication policies, Swig connection policies, and Swig content policies are supported by the transparent proxy. Next, you configure the tunnels on the supported edge device at your location using the parameters from the Forcepoint 1 SSE portal. Access the tunnel information on the Analyze Tunnels page. You can configure each site to use either GRE or IPsec to set up the tunnel. Once everything has been configured, your last step is to test traffic filtering and the SWIG policies that were configured. Web traffic going through Cloud SWIG Transparent Proxy will display in the web logs and web DLP logs. As a final note, here are the eight high-level steps for configuring the Cloud SWIG Transparent Proxy. You can pause the video here to review them in order from beginning to end. 